guys, thanks so much for clicking on my channel with all smiles over here. I am Will Sanja. It's like asking a question. Will Sanja help you keep a smile for today? And hopefully the answer is yes, you guys. I'm going to try not to keep it on. Y'all already know if it gets good, I'm going to keep on talking. The golden nugget today is calm down. Yes, get your woosa in. Meditate. Why? Because you over there stressing, getting your blood pressure up, feeling all discombobulated, all because what? You had some plans. You had planned some things out. And what's going on? They're getting changed. They're getting interrupted. And you don't want to change. You want to stick to your plans. Why? Because you're attached to what you have set out that you should do or where you should go or where you should be. You are attached to your plans. Can I tell you something? Sometimes when God wants to get you where you're supposed to be, he will have to interrupt your plans to get you there. The thing is, you got to get and stay aligned and connected, which means where God is at the forefront of your life, moving in and through you, that you're able to see within your journey with some clarity. And with that clarity, when God interrupt your plans, you'll know to just what? Flow with it. And when you flow with it, before you know it, you'll say, oh, I'm glad I did this because now I just got my answer that I've been looking for. Oh, I'm glad I came here instead of going there because now I have an opportunity that I would have never been able to get to. Y'all, y'all hear me? So just calm yourself down. I know how it goes when you set plans for yourself and then you get a phone call and it inter interrupts your plan or somebody comes over and it interrupts your plans. Just calm down. We'll saw that thing out. Get a line of connected and then start flowing with the change because like I said, when God wants to put you where you're supposed to be, he will interrupt your plans, especially if you're going in the wrong direction, opposite to where he needs you to be so that you could get to your manifestation. You know you've been saying, God, is my manifestation going to come this week? <laughs> is it going to come today? And you probably have plans to do something else. And God said, well, if you want it to come today, we're going to have to do this. So we ain't going to do what you have planned. So listen, things change. They're going to get interrupted, your plans, just like my plans get interrupted. Now, it's been a learning process because before I was born, I had a bulldog hold, okay, on my plans. And I'm, I'm learning gradually, gradually by staying in line and connected to just let it go. Whenever things change, just say, okay, okay, God, I'm just going to flow in this direction. And it does help me. And how can, how can you um, ease yourself into flowing? First of all, getting and staying aligned and connected. And when the thing is first interrupted, your plans interrupted, just start repeating, God, I thank you for the interruption. I don't know why you want me to go here. I don't know why I should be there, but I thank you in advance for whatever you want me to see and whatever you need me, you need me to know in this process. Y'all get it, got it good? Just keep repeating that over and over. And then that way you'll feel calm because then you'll realize, okay, I'm just going to go with the flow. And God just going to do what he does best. He's going to put me in the right place. And I'm going to get my answers and my manifestations. So, in other words, don't be so attached to your plans. Because God knows what's best for you, okay? I know your plans got interrupted. You planning on doing this and that. But God said, not. Nah, we ain't going to do that today. So, just flow with him. I guarantee you, he ain't going to steer you wrong. He's going to take you where you're supposed to be, okay? I hope so. I hope so. I hope so that you guys have gotten this. If not, rewind this thing and watch again. But in the meantime, in between time, if you take just a little bit of what I'm telling you and apply to your life to the best of your ability, you won't ever, 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 ever have the mask of smile. Why? Because your smiles will always be genuine. I'll talk to y'all soon. Be blessed, stay blessed. Be blessed, stay blessed. Be blessed, stay blessed. Y'all know what's coming next. Ciao. Oh, and don't forget to get your woosah in. Okay. Ciao.